Welcome to our video about the best tinea treatment. A number of people suffer from tinea versicolor, and some families are more susceptible to it than others. Thankfully, this skin infection is not contagious and cannot be spread from person to person. The risk of contracting it is closely linked to certain risk factors, not to contact other people. While the most common treatment for tinea is an oral antifungal medication, other options are available as well, such as dandruff shampoos. Tea tree oil is the most popular natural tinea treatment. Among all natural treatments, tea tree oil has the most positive benefits. It reduces symptoms of tinea pettis just as effectively as talnaftate 1%. While it is not a mycological cure, its beneficial properties may explain its widespread use as a natural treatment for tinea pettis. This video will review some of the positive studies related to tea tree oil. To use tea tree oil as a treatment for ringworm, you need to dilute it in a carrier oil. You can either apply the oil to the affected area by rubbing it in or placing a drop of it on a clean cotton swab. Alternatively, you can use a diluted tea tree oil solution on the affected area, twice daily. It is not recommended for people with eczema, as it may aggravate the symptoms. It is generally considered safe for use on the skin, but undiluted tea tree oil can cause dryness. Therefore, it is best used with a carrier oil to counteract its drying effects. A good ratio is 10 drops of carrier oil to a few drops of tea tree oil. Regardless of the carrier oil, it is always advisable to test a small patch before applying it to the affected area. It is antimicrobial, antifungal, and antiseptic properties. It is widely available in commercial products. When shopping for tea tree oil products, look for a product that is 100% pure and contains the correct species name. Purely Northwest makes several products that contain tea tree oil. You can find many different tea tree oil skin care products on the market which will be a great choice for a natural treatment for tinea. Tea tree oil is an essential oil extracted from the Australian plant Melaleuca alternifolia. It has been used for topical antiseptic purposes since the early 20th century. While there is anecdotal evidence of tea tree oil's effectiveness, one clinical trial involving 114 patients used tea tree oil as a topical cream against placebo and talnaftate. Oral Antifungal Treatment there are various types of antifungal treatments for tinea capitis, and oral antifungal therapy for this infection is often prescribed. The agents vary in efficacy, dosage, and duration of therapy. The causative pathogen and age of infection are important considerations for the appropriate course of treatment. Pediatric patients may benefit from an oral antifungal treatment as early diagnosis may help prevent relapse. The American Academy of Dermatology recommends not to prescribe oral antifungals for suspected nail fungus without confirming that a fungal infection exists. During a visit, a physician may perform a co-preparation but may elect to use substitute tests such as a paw stain of nail clippings. These substitute tests take less physician time than other diagnostic procedures and may result in a diagnosis of onychomycosis. Various studies have shown that terbinafine and gruziofulvin are effective in the treatment of tinea capitis. However, these treatments may not be effective in all cases, and some clinicians elect to monitor patients more closely. Some researchers have also reported that gruziofulvin is less effective than other oral antifungals and may require longer periods of therapy. But the doses of gruziofulvin for adults are often higher than those for children. An oral antifungal treatment for tinea capitis is available for both pediatric and adult patients. Its effectiveness depends on the type of dermatophyte that caused the infection. If the pathogen is a microsperm species, then gruziofulvin is the most effective antifungal agent. Those medications are available in the market. If a doctor determines that a specific drug is needed for treatment, they will prescribe an appropriate antifungal medication. Diagnosing tinea capitis is not as difficult as determining whether a patient has dermatophyte infection or not. Diagnosis usually involves a high index of suspicion and is often confirmed by light microscopy and fungal culture. Skin biopsy with periodic acid shift stain may also be helpful. If a patient has persistent lesions, a skin biopsy may be indicated. Dandruff shampoos. There are a number of antifungal shampoos available for tinea but which ones are the best? Most of the time, it comes down to personal preference. Irrespective of your personal preference, 
There is one antifungal shampoo that you should try, and it is called Selenium Sulfide Shampoo. Despite its strong odor, it has a drying effect on the scalp and may not be effective in reducing tinea infection. Topical creams and ointments can be used to control the inflammation. Oral antifungal medication is also available for more severe cases. However, there are several potential side effects of oral antifungals, which makes dandruff shampoos an excellent alternative. They are available over the counter and are much less expensive than antifungal medications. Although dandruff shampoos may not cure tinea, they can provide relief. To help reduce the risk of recurrence of tinea, you can use ketoconazole shampoo. This product is also known to be effective in treating pityriasis versicolor and dandruff. Ketoconazole shampoo should be applied to infected skin patches once a day for at least 5 days. It should be left on the skin for a few minutes to ensure it works properly. While using antibiotics alone is not likely to cure your tinea infection, an antifungal shampoo can help restore the health of your scalp microbiome. Choosing the right shampoo can be difficult, but it is worth the time and effort. The best shampoo for tinea will treat the infection without causing additional harm. A few shampoos contain antifungal ingredients, like zinc pyrithium. Nizoral is a topical dandruff shampoo with ketoconazole that works quickly. Follow the directions on the packaging to avoid further damage. Massage the shampoo into your scalp for about 2 minutes and rinse thoroughly. It is gentle enough to be used on chemically treated hair. Additionally, it can be used on the body to treat acne and foot fungus. However, it shouldn't be used on the face or on broken skin. Biopsy for Tinea Infection Although cultures are rarely necessary for the diagnosis of tinea infection, they can be useful if the patient has persistent lesions or atypical lesions. The doctor may choose to use a skin biopsy with periodic acid shift stain or another substitute test. The results of a biopsy may be used to recommend treatments and monitor the condition. Depending on the extent of the infection, you may need to repeat the procedure. Occasionally, the infection can spread to other parts of the body. Tinea corporis can spread to other parts of the body and in immunosuppressed individuals, the infection can be disseminated to other parts of the body. Patients with chronic dermatophytosis, characterized by infection of at least four different body sites, may experience a fluctuating course and recurrence despite treatment. Atopic dermatitis in children often leads to secondary bacterial infections caused by Staph aureus. Biopsy for tinea infection should be performed if there are any symptoms of an infection, such as a skin ulcer or a rash that is asymmetrical in nature. Diagnosis is based on the appearance of the disease. Tinea corporis typically presents as a single circular red patch that gradually spreads in a ring-shaped pattern, varying in size. The margins of the lesions are papular or pustular and may coalesce into a polycyclic pattern. Tinea gladiatorum is common in contact sports athletes and usually results from infection with the fungus T. tensorans. Ringworm or tinea corporis is a common infection in humans and animals. The fungi that cause tinea are contagious and can be transferred from one person to another. Tinea infection can affect the entire body, including the feet, nails, groin, and genital areas. Infections with fungi that cause ringworm are commonly transferred from one person to another. There are many different causes of tinea corporis, including ringworm and the fungi that cause it. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this was helpful.